So good morning. Thank you for uh, for joining us. We're uh, we're really excited about this presentation today. Uh, we will be discussing uh, the the next generation in video ray technology, which is uh, what we're calling the Mission Specialist System (ROV) systems, or uh, if you see MSS, uh, we're calling it that, to, uh, abbreviating MSS. So. Uh, we've had a really uh, overwhelming response from this this webinar. We have a, a lot of people logged in here, so uh, we're really excited to start imparting this information uh, to those folks who have joined us this morning. Um, like I said, uh, we're embarking on a new generation of technology here at Video Ray. Um, you know, we've we've had the Pro 4 uh, in service for quite a while now, and we're really excited uh, to move on to the next phase here. Um, especially in the sales and marketing department uh, where we get to uh, sell and market a new product. So um, everybody's excited. We wanted to get everybody involved. So I'm going to let Chris Gibson, our Vice President of Sales and Marketing, uh, deliver this presentation today. He's, he's uh, really, really excited about this product. Um, he's put a lot of work in helping develop uh, the, the concept behind it. So I uh, figured we'd drag him out of his office today and let him get involved. Uh, so I'm going to turn this over to Chris very shortly, uh, but before I do that, uh, one of the cool features about doing these webinars, or the e-workshops as we call them, uh, is that we get to make them interactive uh, with the folks that have joined us online. Um, because we had so many people sign up today, it's, it would, there's too many attendees for an efficient question and answer session that we normally do when we do these, uh, you know, where you type in a question, that get, gets related to the presenter and we try to answer it. There's, there's too many people for that today. Um, so to keep it integrated and to keep uh, the audience involved, we have a series of poll questions that will flash on the screen uh, after a certain topic. Uh, that's where we can either solicit feedback from you uh, or you can request further information on the, on the subject that's uh, just been discussed. Uh, and of course, we have all our contact info uh, at the end of the presentation, and you can see some of it up on the screen right now. Um, any of us at sales at videoray.com, um, we, we all get all of those. So any questions you have, please feel free. Uh, there's several different ways to contact us through the website, phone, email, etc. So without further ado, uh, I'd like to turn it over to Chris Gibson, who's the Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Videoray, to discuss the Videoray Mission Specialist ROV Systems. Thank you. Thanks, Brian. I want to thank everyone for uh, logging in today and uh, you know, to learn a little, more, a little bit more about the Mission Specialist series. I'd like to take a second to review today's talking points. Before we dive into VideoRay's Mission Specialist technology, I'd like to spend a little time talking about VideoRay, who we are, and how we like to do business. We'll also discuss VideoRay's current in-service products and technology and the applications that they're performing for our customers. And of course, the majority of today's presentation is going to be focused on Video Ray's new mission specialist technology. Video Ray was founded in 1999 by Scott Bentley. Scott's one of five brothers who started Bentley Systems, a half billion dollar computer aided design company. It's important to note that several people on Video Ray's management team have a software background. We use software, customer, service, and support philosophies at VideoRay, which we've learned are relatively unique within the marine industry. While VideoRay is a small company, we only have 50 employees, it's the largest volume manufacturer in the world. We have a separate R&D facility where our engineers work tirelessly to keep us at the tip of the spear in industry-leading technology. Our corporate philosophy is pretty simple. It's all about keeping the customer happy. When is the customer happy? Well, customers are happy, in our opinion, when their expectations are met, or better yet, exceeded. And we go through and incorporate that in every aspect of our business, starting at the sales process, working through our customer support and customer service, all the way to feeding ideas back to our R&D department to make our products and services better. VideoRay sells observation class remotely operated vehicles. RV accessories like sonar positioning systems and manipulators to go onto those systems. RV parts, repair services in case you have problems, training to teach you how to be better operators, and operations through certified providers. In 
know, there's a reason that Video Ray is the largest volume RV manufacturer in the world. Now, frequently, we go to our customers and we ask them, so why did you select Video Ray? And we get answers that we've gone through and put up on this slide. You know, some of our favorites are it's portable. You know, it's a one-man operation. I can travel anywhere, anywhere in the world and carry my RV as checked airline luggage. You know, the system is very safe and has a great documentation tool. Uh, I can operate from almost anywhere. You know, it only requires 300 watts of power, which means I can operate it from my truck battery uh, or from my truck battery uh, through an inverter. Uh, you know, it's really easy to care for. After I operate, I only have to rinse the uh, ROV for uh, 15 minutes in a five-gallon uh, bucket, and before I put it in the water. I can visually check it to make sure that there's no. Pro I'm not going to encounter any problems, uh, you know, during my operation. Most importantly, though, is that we guarantee it will work. You now, video race business is very diverse. When we look at our customers and where they use video rays, you know, we're continually amazed. We've we've seen people deploy video rays in offshore oil and gas to do uh, class inspections. Uh, we've seen them deploy the ROV inside of ballast tanks. We've seen the ROV uh, used in military and defense applications to uh, watch and study explosions. Uh, we've, we've seen the ROVs used throughout the shipping industry uh, to help make shipping more efficient and, uh, and more cost effective. Uh, law enforcement, one of our biggest markets, uh, you know, the video rays used to keep our public servants safer. Uh, you know, so that they don't have to go into dangerous situations. They send a, uh, you know, the ROV and to, uh, you know, do, you know, do some scouting work or actually do recovery work in some instances. And the ROV is also used quite a bit in the hydroelectric, the nuclear, the wind, uh, water management, bridge inspections, uh, the salvage uh, market, as well as science and research, aquaculture. One thing that's, uh, you know, that's interesting to understand is a lot of video race uh, technology advancements actually come, uh, you know, from market to market. You know, our autonomous control capabilities, which is now being used in the science and research in the oil and gas markets, came from our defense market. Uh, you know, some of the lightweight initiatives uh, that we had with the Video Ray Pro 4 actually came from our water management uh, market, uh, and it had to do with, uh, uh, you know, Video Ray operators. You know, scaling up water tanks, uh, you know, with the ROV on their back, and we needed to figure out ways to make that, you know, uh, equipment one durable, uh, and two, uh, you know, you know, just lighter, so that you could go through and perform operations like that. I'll go through these next three slides really quick. Just wanted to give you a little bit of an idea about the companies that rely on Video Ray uh, to keep their operations, uh, you know, moving. You know, in the oil and gas industry, it's companies like BP, Chevron, Exxon, ConocoPhillips. The defense markets are highlighted by the uh, U.S. Navy and uh, the U.K. MOD, and the Norwegian Navy. And then port security and search and recovery is really a who's who. You know, the United States Coast Guard uses it to protect all Tier 1 United States ports. NYPD uses it to protect New York Harbor. And uh, the Port of Long Beach uses it to protect the busiest uh, seaport on the west coast of the United States. Video Ray's professional product line offers accessory integration. And this basically allows you to take your, you know, your ROV system, uh, which is, you know, pretty much a flying video camera, and do a little more with it. Uh, you know, you can put uh, scanning and multi-beam sonars on it so that you can see through you know, murky water. Uh, navigation and positioning systems allow you to see where you are and even in some cases, uh, you know, determine where you want to go. Uh, water quality uh, and radiation sensors to determine if there's any uh, threats, you know, in, in the water. Uh, and a variety of different things, including video enhancement uh, to help you see uh, what's underwater better. Over the last several years, we've seen Pro 4 inspections become even more specialized. You know, and a great example of that is uh, non-destructive testing uh, for ultrasonic thickness gaugings. Uh, these are uh, inspections that are being performed in the offshore oil and gas and shipping markets, uh, specifically to perform uh, vessel hull 
and ballast tank inspections for UWILD and special surveys. The video array has been set up with a articulating arm that can collect uh, steel plate uh, thickness readings uh, all throughout the hall. And all of the telemetry is placed uh, directly onto the screen overlay, which makes the inspection you know, very easy for the uh, surveyors to go through and perform. And more importantly, it gives the vessel owner a really good documentation from, uh, you know, from the inspections that are being performed over a period of time. You know, autonomous control is another exciting uh, development uh, you know, on a video array Pro 4. Uh, autonomous control has been developed hand in hand with CBITE, uh, specifically for the United States Navy. And what the U.S. Navy does uh, with the technology is as they go through and perform wide area searches for uh, things like mines, uh, they go through and automatically pull that data uh, into the Copilot RI system. And when they put the ROV in the water, it can automatically uh, go to that target simply by clicking a button. There's no operator that has to guide it to the target. Uh, additionally, there are features uh, that allow the uh, system to go through and perform inspections over a survey. So you can go through and pre-plan a survey into the uh, you know, into the software, and the uh, and the uh, the system of the ROV will automatically run that uh, run that course. Resident and distance deployment has actually become something, uh, you know, something of great interest, specifically to the oil companies. Uh, you know, during uh, the current crisis uh, that we're in, where, where you're going through, and oil companies are looking to uh, control their costs better. Uh, we worked very closely with uh, Video Ray customer Stinger uh, on the, uh, the North Sea on a BP project, uh, where they're where they have an array in the water that will detect methane seep seepage. And what, that ha what happens is when that array alarms, they can go through and deploy a video array from land, uh, which is great. You know, it costs 82 times uh, more to have a pilot operate an ROV from the sea or from a rig platform than it does in an office on land. And this is another great example of how video arrays are being used to save customers money. And that gives you a pretty good uh, background uh, and some general information about Video Array's current technologies. They're best in class. They're very powerful inspection class tools. But there's a lot of limitations to the systems. They're shallow water. They can only go down to 305 meters or 1,000 foot. They have a limited payload. You know, the vehicle's only so big. It only has three thrusters. Uh, it just can't go through and carry a, a bigger payload. There's limited bandwidth. There's limited power at the RV, uh, and there's a limited uh, length of uh, deployment tether that you can go through and operate from. So that leads us nicely into uh, Video Array's new mission specialist technology. What is the technology? Well, uh, best thing to go through and do is walk you back five years, and uh, you know we started working on this technology. Uh, uh, the first thing that we went through and did was we came up with several objectives that we wanted to go through and follow. Uh, it was very important for us to maintain a portable platform. We wanted to have something that people could still move around with. And, uh, portable means different things to uh, you know to different people. But for us, uh, it's very important that the ROV or the submersible itself should be something that one person can pick up and move easily. We wanted to retain the reliability uh, that we've come to enjoy with Video Ray's uh, professional ROV product line. That's critical. You know, when, when you go through and use an ROV, it has to work. You can't afford for it not to work. But we wanted to have a modular design for accessories and propulsion. One of the things that we learned and that we got very frustrated with as our customers came to us, uh, you know, how, how to make the system better was we were just constrained you know, with, uh, with what we had to work with, with the Pro 4. So uh, we, wanted to, we wanted to have something where we could make almost anyone's idea work. But we needed and wanted a very easy to use interface. Uh, we wanted to be able to uh, rapidly integrate sensors. Uh, the payload had to increase 
you know, one of the things that our customers were asking us to do was, I need, uh, you know, it's, it's not just enough to go through and have uh, sonar telemetry and ultrasonic thickness uh, telemetry. I need, you know, I need uh, information from uh, sonar as well as a, a positioning system and I, uh, as well as a radiation sensor and, uh, uh, you know, water quality readings. And I need all of that information fused together. <coughs> We need and knew we need uh, we needed to increase the depth rating. So we're working on systems that are uh, 1,000, 3,000, 4,000 at full ocean depth. We wanted to increase our thrust efficiency. So one of the biggest reasons that video array is successful is because of the efficiency of our systems. And things don't have to be bigger just to be efficient. Uh, one of the things that video array does very uh, very well is. Uh, basically make things more efficient in smaller packages. Information has to be easy to get. You know, at, the, at the end of the day, when you go through and you look at why people put ROVs in the water, it's to collect information. And so that information, uh, you know, when it comes topside, has to be easy to get. You know, Video Ray's done this with Pro 4 technology, uh, you know, simply by, by putting a button to record video on the hand controller. It's something that, uh, you know, seems Know, very, very simple. Um, it just makes the information that you need to go through and collect easier. And, you know, when you go through and you look at mission specialist technology, you're going to have multiple data streams coming back for video, positioning, sonar, uh, and other sensor information uh, that can all be broken out and uh, uh, pulled where, really wherever you want it. We wanted to go through and leverage the autonomous control that we've done uh, with a Pro 4 technology. We're going to work on land and distance operations. We're going to increase our umbilical length. And we're going to have ROV and AUV modes. Now, the product concept really builds on the uh, technology objectives that we just discussed. Uh, the systems are going to be component-based and modular, which means they're extremely flexible and can't be field configurable. Uh, the systems are going to be based on ROS. ROS is the robot operating system. It's an open development platform. What that means for us is uh, when a university, for example, goes through and develops a new sensor and they write a ROS note and they make it available to anyone, uh, that system can very easily be integrated into Video Array's mission specialist technology because of its architecture. Uh, that means you're going to have the availability to go through and put more sensors onto these systems very easily and without uh, with little or no pain. Most importantly, you're going to have built-in reliability through modular components. So one of the one of the reasons that Video Ray has the reliability that we do now is because we make so many Pro 4 ROV systems. And you know, one of the things that we struggled with when we were talking about mission specialist technology is how are we going to get the reliability built into these systems? You know, when we're only going through and making let's say uh, 20 of them a year. Well, we get the reliability by making the modular components uh, at the same volumes, uh, maybe even more, than we're making for the Pro 4 systems. And it's just a matter of going through and plugging those components together to create unique ROV configurations. Probably the best way to explain mission specialist technology to you is to show you a video. The Video Ray mission specialist concept utilizes a system of interchangeable modular components residing on a single intelligent network. This topology provides an extremely flexible and customizable platform which can easily be adapted to the specific mission markets or payloads. It's this flexibility which sets apart the, missions, the mission specialist technology from current ROV technology in the industry. The mission specialist technology provides us the ability to create customized, reliable ROV systems optimized for mission-specific operations, all at a video rate price. What I'd like to do now is uh, post a question for you. If you're interested in receiving a full-length video, explaining mission specialist technology, please complete this poll question.
All right, just one more second while a couple more people answer the question. Since the mission specialist systems will be set up specifically for your operations, the capabilities of them uh, will all vary based on your projects. But there's a few basic capabilities that are worth mentioning. Uh, depth ratings will vary, you know, dependent on the system, uh, but also the accessories, uh, sensors, or tooling that the ROV needs to carry. And they'll range from 100 to uh, uh, well over the 300 meter depth rating of the Pro 4 to 1,000, 4,000, and even full ocean depth systems. Communications will be Ethernet based. Uh, tether deployment uh, systems, you'll see deep configurations with tether management systems and garages that the ROV can fly out from, as well as distant deployments uh, of up to uh, 10 kilometers with battery and fiber setups. All right, what I'd like to do now is walk through some mission specialist configurations and current projects that we're working on with customers, vendors, and integration partners. For each configuration, I'm going to uh, explain you know, where the request originated, you know, what market did it come from, and then I'll briefly describe how the customer intends to use the, pro uh, use the mission specialist system specifically for their project. Uh, this should give you, uh, an this should illustrate a a really good point because the systems and the configurations that we go through uh, and we'll walk through today are wide ranging and it really speaks to how mission specialist technology can be applied to different projects, different types of missions very effectively. Uh, I hope you might uh, you know, think about this and what your approach might be with mission specialist technology. All right, first up is the Mission Specialist Cavitation Cleaner configuration. And this one is uh, close and dear to our hearts. It's the first application of Mission, mission Specialist technology that uh, you know, Video Array has performed. Uh, this request came to us from the oil and gas and uh, shipping markets. And uh, you, may have, uh, you may have heard there's uh, you know, ongoing challenges in uh, that market specifically on reducing costs as the price of oil uh, continues to fall. This system uh, was specifically designed to carry a cavitation cleaner and to do cleaning uh, more efficiently uh, and cost effectively than how they're going through and performing uh, that uh, IRM job today. Uh, <coughs> this system is designed to clean well seams, uh, intakes, and other subsea structures that typically need to be cleaned uh, for maintenance or uh, class inspections. We have a specification sheet available for the Mission Specialist Cavitation Cleaner. If you'd like to receive it, please answer the poll question that's on your screen now. Right, just a few more seconds while people wrap up answering the question. The Mission Specialist Tunnel Penetrator is an excellent example of how Mission Specialist technology can be applied to a very challenging and difficult inspection. Uh, this configuration was brought to us by the Hydroelectric and Water Management Authorities and the system was specifically designed to inspect and survey long tunnel penetrations up to 10 kilometers. Uh, the system uses the same components as the cavitation cleaner, you know, same thrusters, same communication uh, modules, has a different frame, different flotation, different thruster configuration optimized for uh, it, the type of job that it needs to uh, uh, perform. And then we add a fiber communications model, a battery, you know, for, uh, for power over longer lengths of tether, and then we operate off of a fiber tether. Um, initially, this configuration will be delivered uh, only up to two kilometers, but with uh, eyes on uh, and a focus on uh, going up to 10 kilometers. The Mission Specialist 3D Surveyor was brought to us by the salvage and oil and gas markets really for two different types of operations. Uh, the payload on this system is a Coda Octopus Dimension 3D sonar system. Now, this sensor weighs 44 pounds, which is around four times what the what the Pro 4 weighs, something that we never really dreamed of being able to carry uh, 
you know, on uh, Pro 4 technology, but with Mission Specialist technology, it's a, a little bit different. We've optimized a, a ROV uh, system, a Mission Specialist system, around the sensor specifically uh, to carry it. And salvage, you know, the uh, information is needed specifically about the salvage project before they go to bid. In the salvage industry, it's uh, the way that they do business. If you know, if you don't bid the job right, uh, a lot of heartache uh, and uh, a lot of heartache comes from it. In the oil and gas industry, the uh, the system is uh, being used for uh, boring system inspection and specifically to do seabed survey to determine the structural integrity of the mooring system. Mission Specialist Mooring Inspection System is brought, has been brought to us by the aquaculture industry, specifically in Norway. Uh, this system will be optimized uh, to inspect aquaculture mooring systems in uh, 600 meters of uh, water, uh, but with relatively strong currents. The system has been set up and optimized uh, to carry a multi-beam sonar, USB-L positioning system, and a multi-function manipulator. Resident and deployment systems are really the wave of the future. This initiative has been brought to us by the oil and gas industry, but it's nothing new for Video Ray. Video Ray has actually been doing uh, resident and uh, distant deployment systems with Pro 4 technology, uh, just in a you know different a different operations window uh, because of the limitations of the Pro 4 vehicle. Now that opens up with the mission specialist vehicle. Operators are specifically looking to perform inspections and protecting existing infrastructure and crew. It's something that the oil companies don't want to go through and sacrifice. They don't want to sac sacrifice the uh, safety aspects uh, that, they, uh, that they currently operate under. And at the same time, um, uh, they want to do this all at a significantly lower cost profile, uh, mainly due to the price of oil. Uh, resident systems minimize and even eliminates the needs for an ROV operations uh, vessel. This is a big component uh, that uh, oil companies go through and pay now to perform uh, challenging uh, deep water inspections. Uh, distance deployments uh, enable that same inspection to happen from land. So you're, you're further reducing the, uh, uh, you know, the cost profile. And this is something uh, where we have active sea trials uh, going on now uh, in the North Sea. Uh, something that we're uh, very excited about and uh, can't wait to see move forward. So where are we today with Mission Specialist Technology? Well, I just mentioned uh, that we have active sea trials ongoing in the North Sea with uh, Stinger uh, for ExxonMobil. We are working uh, in the Arctic with the United States Coast Guard and we're uh, actively working on 25 separate Mission Specialist projects uh, all to go through and help uh, customers, integration partners, uh, deliver different types of mission specialist uh, vehicles. Uh, first deliveries have already occurred, uh, and we're ready to uh, take on more projects. So what are the next steps? Well, there's really two ways to proceed. Uh, first, if you like one of the configurations that you've seen today, and you think it might work, uh, you know, for your projects with little or no customization, we'd love to talk to you about it. You know, if, you're, if your projects are a little more challenging, need a little more customization, we're ready to talk to you, too, about that, gathering details and fully understanding your projects, your goals, and your initiatives. And we'd love to discuss how Video Ray's mission, spe mission specialist technology applies to you. Go ahead. I'm going to post another uh, question for you. Uh, if you're interested in any of the mission specialist configurations that we've discussed today. Just a couple more seconds.
I wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone for logging in today. We're going to ask one more poll question at the, uh, in at the conclusion of the presentation, and that's if you would like to schedule a meeting with VideoRay to discuss your mission-specific projects and how VideoRay's new mission specialist technology might be applied to your projects. We're very excited to talk to you. I hope that the uh, workshop's been informative for you, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you very much.